<laughs> You're already a great mom, Mama. <laughs> All right, weather-wise for today. Hey, let's get a look at the tropics. Just getting an update from the National Hurricane Center. A couple of areas that we're monitoring out here in the eastern Pacific. The good news with this, not expected to impact any land, but we do have a new tropical depression out here in the eastern Pacific. Meanwhile, two tropical waves, one of which has the potential of impacting us later on this week. Right now, the National Hurricane Center giving it a 20% chance for development during the next five days. So by the end of the week, there, we could be dealing with a tropical system. But at this point, most of our models are indicating anything that does develop should be on the weaker end. But regardless, as you know, anytime we get that surge of moisture blowing into the Gulf, that breeze coming in from the Gulf of Mexico will send moisture in our direction. A couple of uh, tropical models or models that we look for uh, to show any potential development. The European model showing some sort of closed circulation here developing by Thursday and then the American model also showing some sort of closed circulation however a little bit further toward the north so we'll be monitoring these models to see in the days ahead if we see any big changes there also some of the models we look at as potential for rainfall already starting to see a signal for some heavy rain that will be blowing in from the Gulf of Mexico potentially impacting our areas along the coast so south of I-10 most likely a better chance you're going to see some heavy rain. We're seeing that potential for heavy rain this morning. In fact, the Weather Prediction Center does have parts of our area under excessive rainfall, indicating some street flooding, a possibility, minor street flooding along the upper Texas coast from Chambers County up toward the Port Arthur area. A little bit of activity there. Notice we get more widespread showers and thunderstorms, widely scattered, and with those chances for rain going up for us inland areas, we are going to see those temperatures in the upper 80s to low 90s. High rain chances the next couple of days. Slight little drop Wednesday and Thursday. That tropical wave will bring us some tropical rains, downpours by the end of the week. Happening today, the results from the first trials of